You're quite safe here. Hello, Afflewax. Bear Gate. Let's get at it. Alrighty. Uh, well, oh, wasn't yesterday fabulous? Let's just do it again. I just love this. It's amazing. Wouldn't it be brilliant if it actually worked? I mean, sadly it does not, but you know, there it is. It's just a beautiful thing, isn't it? Right. So I don't think uh, we're going to have any guts today from the look of the knoll, which is in and of itself quite a thrill, I suppose, although we have been sort of enjoying the guts. The guts, the guts. So, uh, following yesterday's uh, Google Eyes spectacle, uh, we will, of course, to start today with the Google Eyes. Um, and up first is Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Doing two of these. Says today is my final message before I go away for a week. I will miss you all, and I shall be around in the group chat on the Twitter. I'll be back on the fifteenth of July, so I'll see you all then. Oh, have a lovely time, Jordan. Uh, I hope you have a tremendous time and I'm already looking forward to uh, the reports of your adventures when you return. And obviously it goes without saying, but I hope you haven't got to fight off any vampires again. I mean, that goes without saying, so. It goes without saying. Hang on a minute. Did this go on somewhere? Oh, yes it did. Went on here. Hang on a minute. Oh, does this go on here? Does it actually stick in there? Yes, I think it does. Yes, okay. Alrighty. Making sure I have got it in the right place. Yes, I have. Okay, thank you. I thank you. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I wonder why they've got that little thing there when we've not sticking anything in it. Oh, well, don't question it. Uh, we thought you were from Canada and then we didn't think you were from Canada and then it turned out you was from Canada. I remembered. It was just William B. Listen and enjoy your time of journey. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he will. Uh, Jordan strikes me as the sort of person who really makes the most of a holiday. You know, there are some people who they, they don't make the most of a holiday, but I think Jordan is one of those people who does make the most of a holiday. So uh, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy, our dearest darling. We will, of course, miss you. But uh, the great thing about people going on holiday is that A, you miss them, and then B, you look forward to seeing them when they come back again. So, you know, it's win-win, isn't it? Win-win all round. Uh, uh, Mr. Claw, oh, hello, hello. I, I think you're still new enough to get a Mr. Claw. Uh, he says that, 
car chassis was one of my true loves as a child. Yes, we'll remember yesterday that uh, uh, Professor Lagout um, put a picture up of the old car chassis that was one of his favourites. It's lovely, isn't it? The, the remembering these these things from childhood that that you once loved so intensely. Gillian uh, B. Uh, I was on the the Athabasca Glacier too as a child. Eh? We climbed to a tea house in Lake Louise. I cried and wanted to be left on the side of the trail and be collected uh, when my family came back dune. But it was worth it for the cup of tea eh? and the vu. Lovely, colorful guts today, Ammer. Wow, Ammer, that is incredible. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was incredible yesterday. I'm sorry, but it absolutely was incredible. I'm sorry yesterday's film was rather on the long side, but um, that was the bag. That was the bag, and I th and I and it was so compl. I actually think yesterday. Sorry, I'm pointing with my finger. That'll get me into trouble with you now. Can they do the noise? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, little Sue. Um, but doing this bit, I mean, you can't, you you can't get a single thing wrong here. There's absolutely no doubt about that. So you know, these things take time, when they're very, 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 very complicated. But this mechanism, just on its own, here and here, is, is simply incredible, the way this moves this way. Lovely pistons. Mm. Mm. Pistons. I said pistons. Thank you. Oh, okay, you can stop pointing now. Can I do the noise? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, little Sue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um... A TV set. Says I used to sit at the bit. Oh no. Yes, correct. Please pick it up. As other, can I just inquire? Are there other pieces of Lego on the floor that you can currently see, Emma? Uh, do I have to tell you that? Yes. Um. Yes. Yes. There are. How many pieces? What from just where I'm looking? Six. Oh, six. Oh, dear God, press the screen button. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry, little Sue. Sorry. Yeah, there, need, there needs to be some sort of deep rescue uh, for, of little bits of Lego that are on the floor. <laughs> a deep rescue plan needs to be done. <laughs> Although, actually, having a look, some of them are micro bricks. <laughs> uh, right, sorry, back to TVZ. I used to sit at the back of the class and type it because I was useless at it. Our teacher wore red lipstick, smoked like a chimney, and was shaped like a beach ball, so she never made it to the back of the class, luckily for me. Yes, do you remember when teachers were allowed to smoke in class? Absolutely insane. Anyway, I got an A for typing, which I'm sure was because the teacher didn't know who I was. My work was appalling, and I never handed any in. I'm still a two-finger typist to this day. I do feel a bit sorry for the person who got my F grade, though. Oh, t TVZ, you should have piped up and confessed all. Surely. Surely, madam. Um, ooh, little tile. Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's see how we get on today. But we might... We we might be in in the in the ballpark for another bag. We might be, we might be, um, but it's hard to say really because these bags end up being deceptively uh, long. So we'll have to see. Mind you, if there's no Technics, then hmm, ha well, I'll take that. I'll take a view later. Uh, Ness Quinn, hello Ness, hello Ness, says, uh, oh, oh my word, N oh, Ness Quinn has a slightly Irish tilt, I do recall, says, oh my word, what a cracking build, it's a fabulous design, I watched one to seven was trying to proofread a catalogue today, God help the catalogue, enjoying your hilarious commentary, Emma, and very glad you weren't fooled into buying the piano boy someone, you would 
have had black blindness as well. Well, you, I mean, it's it's diplomatic of you uh, to say someone. We all know it was John Perry. Yeah, you're also a pesky pesk. Trying to get me to buy the piano. <laughs> why I order? Oh, why I order? Um, Danny Bowers. Wow, amazing. Yeah, and honestly, I think yesterday was one of the greatest days we've ever had on Relax With Bricks, purely because of what happened at the end. Purely for that reason alone. Um, now I'm heading over to the Twitterize. Boom, boom. Hello to new followers, by the way. Hello. Hello. We got a bit of a flurry yesterday. Um, right, Gutzilla. Here we go. Uh, oh, TVZ says, Your guts wrangling was pretty good today, Mother Goose. Not too much shonk or wonk. Uh, not too much tension and suspense. Uh, well done. Mm, thank you. Thank I'm Honestly, I'm really, I'm super proud of myself for yesterday. Super proud. Uh, super, super, super proud. Dun, 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 dun. Et voila. Et voila. Hang on, I've, I've got, I've got crease. I've got book crease. Hang on. Oh, and another one there. All righty. Yep. And then what? Mm. Didn't see that coming. And then that. And then that is going on there. Okay. And then that. Goes on there. You see, look, aren't we glad we... we, we we did a close up on the guts yesterday. I don't know if you noticed I did a little a little short minute zoom around for the Twitter yesterday on my main account. And it was mostly because I knew we were going to be hiding the guts. This is our last opportunity to, to stare at the guts and and behold them. Little Sue. As she's called little Sue. She's little as she's called Sue. She's little Sue. Yes, hello. It's me, Des. You'll be you. You'll be relieved to know there's no birthday announcements today. Oh, well done, well done, well done. Cause there's been there's been so many birthdays, hasn't there, Mama? Yes, there's been so many birthdays. Um, do you, do you, do you hope that everyone has now received their their birthday random minifig and doodah boots up right now? Yes, I do hope that everyone has received their uh, birthday doodah bricks up right now. Uh, and random minifig. Yes, I do hope that. Yes, good. Yes, good. Anyway, um, now that we've got that out of the way, can I please discuss what I came here to discuss today? Yes, you can. Yes, please continue. Well, Emma, uh, re read the comments uh, being off on the, on the YouTube. Do you, do you do? Yes, the comments being off on the YouTube. Yes, yes, the comments being off on the on the U YouTube. Yeah, I, th I think the YouTube was in quite the pickle today because I sometimes watch the videos on TV and actually I had to sign back into YouTube and I never normally have to do, to do this on the YouTube. Oh, God. YouTube. On the YouTube, do, do you like the YouTube? Mm, yeah, yeah, I do like the YouTube. Yes. Um, uh, uh, just, just as a sidebar, have you seen a butterfly in your bush yet? Oh God. Or have you twined your ruler? Be quiet. Give her an inch. Give her an inch. <sighs> Give that. Give that little Sue an inch, and she will take a mile. She will take one of Earth's miles. Uh, Rosie Lee says, the story of how Rosie fractured her elbow whilst canoeing, it's a long one, so buckle up. Oh, okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Set settle in, everybody. Here comes a story from, from Rosie Lee. Um, having navigated our way through the technical part of the Athabasca River, 
Our guide told us we'd got another 10 minutes of canoeing before stopping for lunch. Yeah, food. Just as we set off, I hit a wave at the wrong angle and went over um, and over went the canoe. Oh no. In the fast flowing water, the canoe was pushing me downstream. I was stuck. The only way forward was to duck under the canoe and pop out the overside. As I popped up the other side, I watched my canoe with all my belongings, camping equipment, including food, disappearing downstream. Thankfully, our guide raced after the canoe whilst I swam to the river's edge, pulled myself out and collapsed in a big, soggy, wet heap. Instructor returned with my canoe. The only thing lost was my oar. I was, as the saying goes, up bleep creek without a paddle, literally. The instructor returned with my canoe. All thankfully, the only uh, thing I lost was my oar. I was, oh no, I've read that bit. I've read that bit. Our guide had spares, so after lunch, a quick change of clothes, it was back into the canoe. With sore thumb and bruised knees, I put up my tent and went to sleep. Mm, what's going to happen next? Next morning, I awoke to see the extent of my injuries. We were four hours away from any pickup point, so I had to take down my tent, pack up my canoe, and paddle the four hours to the pickup point. Rosie Lee, why, d why did nobody help you? Surely, surely you got some assistance for, from a kind person. Surely. Surely you could have just said, hello, I think I've broken my elbow. Uh, even if I haven't broken my elbow, I'm in massive amounts of play, pain. Please, will you help me? Surely that happened. Surely, Rosie. Let's continue with the story. At the hospital, she's, she's got to hospital. I was told I'd fractured my left elbow, badly sprained my thumb and bruised my knees slash shins. The worst part wasn't the four hours canoeing with a fractured elbow, but the drive home from the airport trying to change gear and put on the handbrake. Oh, for goodness sake, could, could not someone have come and helped you? Ouch. And that, my fellow Afflewax, is how Rosie fractured her elbow whilst canoeing. Oh, there's pictures. Oh, crumbs, there's pictures. Look at the bruise on that. Woo-wee, woo-wee. Well, uh, you get a round of applause just, just for being brave. Quite frankly, crumbs, what a business. I'm sort of astonished that, I mean, I mean I'm presuming you're on an organised thing. I'm slightly astonished that they don't sort of have protocols in place for if somebody is injured. I mean, like they should have, should have like a, like a, like a canoe that, um, you know, follows on, a following on canoe. That that that's there just just to take. Poor people, you know, poorly people in it. I mean, these things must happen all the time. Surely, surely, surely. Down now, dressed says, "Oh my goodness, that sounds awful." Thank goodness it was the last day, though, at Rosie Lee. It didn't put me off. Here I am canoeing in Thailand. Last holiday before lockdown. Oh, will you look at that? That's beautiful. I went canoeing in Bermuda once. It was just phenomenal. The water looks lovely and calm there, says Tanya now. Uh, Rosie, it was a lovely day, so quiet and peaceful. Ruth Hayes, what a, what a story, Rosie. Yeah, what a story. Uh, Rosie Lee says, I am blown away by all the techniques and the gats, the gats, the gats of the build. A fascinating build. Hats off to you, Mother Goose. You're doing a sterling job. Well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to accept that. I I, I think I am too. I think I've, I've knocked this one out of the park, quite frankly. This is a brilliant set. It's absolutely brilliant. Just from a build point of view, it's it's so satisfying. Um, I thoroughly recommend it. Maybe it should be a goose giveaway at some point. I mean, not this one. I'm keeping it. But maybe it should. May, maybe, all right, go on. Ch chuck it into the goose giveaway um, pile for, 
for the for this next month's goose giveaway. It's that good. Um, I can't remember where we're up to now with that. Professor Lego will remember. Well, let's hope Professor Lego remembers. Now, what's happening here? That's happening here. Oh, a little bit of Technics today. Minor Technics. Very minor Technics. What's going on there? She said, turn it around. Crumbs, that doesn't want to go on, does it? Get on there. Get on there, you miscreant. And it wants it at that jaunty angle. Come ça. Jaunty angle, come ça. Yep. Uh, Tanya now says, talking of ink pens, you'll remember yesterday we, we were having a lovely chat about, a, a lovely reminisce about ink pens and how you'd always have a blob of ink here. Uh, Tanya now says, talking of ink pens, I often had the squeezy refillable ink pen with a giant bottle of quink. Oh, quink. Quink. I always had blue fingers and thumb. But being left-handed, I always blotted my writing as I went, so the side of my hand was blue too. Oh, yes. A TVZ. <laughs> says, oh, I love a fountain pen. This this is my go-to at the moment. Yes, I love a fountain pen. I miss fountain pens. They were very, very mucky. Um, hang on. Hang on, please. Just tethering here. Yes, that's right, because this is a little bit complicated. Well, I mean, it's not as complicated as the Technics, but they're a little bit, there are, there are niblets that have to be attended to. Thank you. Now that goes like that. Yep. And then that... Hmm. It should go on there. Why doesn't it want to? Why doesn't it? There we are. It's in. It's in. Uh, Baby Smashing. The Sensei. And the strawberry, the mooning mini, the matter, and the lego we spitty. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. That's laugh. That was that was very satisfying slotting that in then. Um, talking of ink pens, says Bevis. I use drafting pens for my art that have refillable cartridges, but they do also have a bit of a tendency to leak slightly. So I do frequently have ink stains on my index finger from them still. Look, let, let's just look at this in slow motion, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Very satisfying. Uh, yes, Bevis says, rebrickable is mostly MOCs that are based on the parts in a given existing set. They sometimes include an extra base plate or a few extra pieces. That costume shop needs a base that, that costume shop he says needs a base plate and twelve windows, but not much extra. But the instructions, which are usually a few pounds each, are purely as digital files, so you have to download them and print yourself. They're pretty high quality, though, so print well. Uh, and round of applause for getting all the techniques right. Good grief. Uh, sorry, what? Bevis Musson has given me a round of applause. What? What? Sorry, what was that, Tracy? Oh, Tracy. But it says, I absolutely adore that not only does the mechanism replicate the movement of the typewriter and the carriage, but actually manages to get the sound right as well. Yes, that's one of the things I really like about it. It's, I, it's, that, it's that bit, isn't it, there? That's the bit that's creating that... Emma, you pointed with your finger. Sorry. <laughs> it's this bit, that, that, sort of that big silver wheel. That, that creates that lovely clicking noise like when you used to put a, 
a cigarette card in in your your rear bike wheel that lovely that that lovely lovely sound anyway that's what's doing it <laughs> um yes Hold up. I think there should be two fours here. Yes, I've clearly missed that out. Right. Now we're back on track. All right. Okay. Uh, Mac McCulgan, Mac Mac McCulgan, Mac and Mac A, Mac Mac McCulgan, Mac McCulgan, Mac Mac McCulgan. He likes Mac, Mac and cheese, and and he likes Macs, throwing them in the rain. Yeah, you did that one yesterday. Yeah, okay, I'm just, it's just, you know, work in progress, isn't it? Uh, it says, glad you liked uh, the smoking room set, uh, Mother Goose. Uh, it was something I worked on earlier in the year before I actually realised you ran this channel. The photos are rendered from Studio, a virtual Lego building app, and is great for working out exactly what pieces you need before buying them. Oh, do tell me more about that, please. Uh, Mac McCorgan hangs head in shame. I haven't got round to physically building it yet. Oh, but imagine, imagine how much you're going to enjoy it when you do. Please show it as if, 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 you, if you do do that. If you didn't see it yesterday, Mac, Mac McColgan uh, did a brilliant, there was a brilliant picture of, of, of the smoking room set. And I'm amazed that that, that's, that isn't actual a physical set and that that's from a, a building app. That's amazing. It, I, wouldn't, I would never have known, honestly. I'd have never have known. Uh, sadly, says Mac, there is no pandy, uh, panda bear piece in the studio app or that would have found its way onto the photo but will be in the physical build now for those of you who don't know i was in a i was in a sitcom that was called the smoking room and uh there was one episode where my character who was who was a highly annoying uh person who's just come back from maternity leave like she was really really annoying and uh, so you're just playing yourself in and like sorry who said that Anyway, I was playing a really annoying character. You yeah, see, so you're playing yourself. Who said that? Who said Lindy was acceptable? Um, and there was this one episode where I, ca I came in with this giant panda, giant stuffed panda. And Debbie chased it and I had to kiss it. And no one was expecting me uh, to do what I did. I was I, that, like, they all thought I was just going to just give it a little peck on the cheek. And I didn't. I sort of ended up having this deep, deep snog with it. And Debbie Chazen, <laughs> Debbie Chazen couldn't cope. <laughs> she, she could not cope. And we had to keep doing it again and again and again and again and again. Because, um, <laughs> because uh, of the corpsing. <laughs> From the rest of the cast <laughs> so i must have i must have snogged that panda upwards of 10 times <laughs> anyway uh matt mcculgan says progressing admirably with the mega guts the gats the gats i'm very impressed only two minor heart palpitations this bag uh and then mr claw oh mr claw's over here Ooh, hello uh says all about that ratchet Ooh, yeah not off uh and that concludes the business Club. Oh, how are we doing? For, mm, we are perilously in the, in the. We might do another bag. Oh, here. It was late up uh, yesterday. Yesterday's film, for which apologies. Now, where are these going? Oh, here. Um, for no other reason than I woke up and suddenly realised that I I, ha I had to hand an article in um, about
about global vaccinations of all things uh, and so I had to I had to do that I had to do my homework before I was allowed to come in the Lego shed Obvs. so hence I was late yesterday and then it was over an hour so th those ones always take forever and a day to upload I mean it's, it's just ridiculous ridiculous Do, do. I think because it's the football tonight, we, we might not do a second bag today. So that everyone has a chance to watch it. So it'll be a shorter one today. Which will make up for a longer one yesterday. And three. That's it's that way round. Do you know what else I'm, I'm liking so far about this? Unlike uh, the stupid uh, friend's apartment that we just did, things aren't aren't disintegrating when you touch them. She said, "This is famous last words." I'm tempting fate here, aren't I? I wonder if we've if we have done all the guts now. Whether the guts are now concluded, don't know. Me, so I have no use. I, I think not because I think there's going to be something that pushes that that's out here. So we might still have guts. Hmm. Lovely. See, it didn't disintegrate when you press that together. Okay, now then. We've never had this bit before. So that... Oh, it's going that way up. All right. It's that way up. Where's this actually going? Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I mean, look at that isn't that lovely gosh gosh i've just looked at the bag nine oh crumbs crikey all right well we'll leave that for today um so this is really coming together now isn't it i think we've got we're going to have something more coming here there's definitely some jiggery pokery we've got to look forward to tomorrow so that's exciting um oh, i've just noticed bevis is still on the count oh you can stay there you can stay there you've sort of deserved sort of deserved it sort of deserved it now look what do we think that's going to do there probably something or maybe it isn't mm. 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 fascinated by it all right then that'll do for today um alpha works forever see you tomorrow